Let's make some picks. Me and Evans, we got two locks and upset wild card. I'm going to be getting right here. I got a lock. I'm going to take the spread on the first lock. I'm going to take Middle Tennessee State plus 39 and a half against Alabama. That's a lock? Yes. I'm going to wow. take Middle Tennessee on the spread. That's some confidence. That's a prime time I, game for Alabama, 630. Okay. I think Jalen Millwell will struggle. Um, I don't think he's that great of a quarterback. I think he will struggle. I think Nick Saban will eventually bench him for Ty Simpson. I think the Middle Tennessee State defense, even though they're not great, they will step up a little bit against the Alabama offense, the powerful Alabama offense. Okay, so in terms of the, the spread, I didn't follow the spread, so if you're watching us for betting this week, I just picked for fun. Um, so if you're just looking for wisdom, here you are. But anyways, I've got – my first one, I also had Alabama over ten, Middle Tennessee. Hopefully we don't. Well, actually, I had the opposite then because I had, I just have Alabama beating Middle Tennessee straight up as a log. Uh, yes, the 39, it is a lot of points. And I could see Middle Tennessee potentially covering that as a lock. That seems a little interesting. Uh, last time these two teams faced, that was 2015. Uh, it was actually somewhat recently closed. They, did, they wouldn't cover that spread back then, too. It was 37 to 10. Uh, Alabama got the dub. That was when Middle Tennessee had players like Kevin Byard, who's now in the NFL, of course, and a couple other stars. I think they had Richie James, too, who was also in the NFL. So um, Middle Tennessee is not a scrub school, but they're not going to win this one. Give me Alabama. Yeah, they're not going to win this one. Alabama's still going to take this one, one, but I think the um, Middle Tennessee State will cover the spread. For the next slide, I got Washington over Boise State. I think Michael Penger Jr. is going to be too much for this Boise State defense. Give me the Huskies. I've got actually, my for my next one, I've got a Big Ten versus Big Ten. And that may, that's a little weird because there's a lot of group of five versus power five matchups you could pick from. But I've got Ohio State. They're a 30-point favorite going into Indiana this weekend. Uh, you know, Indiana's had some up and down recently. 2020, they had a really exciting game against Ohio State with Jake's boy, uh, Michael Penix Jr. But uh, th- I-, I don't see that happening this year. All time, Ohio State's beaten Indiana 27 times in a row. They've uh, they're 78 and 12 all time versus them. Give me again, sometimes in these trap games, like I know Purdue traps Ohio State sometimes. Uh, so I could see it being a little closer, but Ohio State won't lose this game. They're going to win. Give me Ohio State. Ohio State and Yanga, that's always a that's always a fun game. Um, for my upset currently, I got North Carolina. I got South Carolina over North Carolina is technically an upset because North Carolina is favored by two and a half. You know, Drake May is a great quarterback. He's going to go. Um, he's going to be the second quarterback off the board in twenty twenty four. I just think the South Carolina offense and Spencer Rattler gets off to a good, a good start, a great start this season, and upsets the Tar Heels. I like Spencer Rattler. I hope they win that game. I will go um, – I'm going to go another, like, kind of like Jake. Like, now the, the spread was four and a half, so it's not a huge upset, but an upset nevertheless. I'm going to go Florida over Utah tonight. I think Florida will get the job done. Obviously, Utah is worldly talented. This is our game of the week, so if you haven't checked that out, go check that out, by the way. Uh, so I'll leave more analysis for that. But I think uh, a lot of people are counting Graham Mertz out. Uh, is he the perfect quarterback? No, but I bet Florida is still going to put up some points and maybe just enough to win this game. Now for my wild card, I got the game that Evan was just talking about. I got Florida and Utah in the wild card. We're, like he said, we're getting to more of the analytics and analysis um, in the game of the week. But I got Utah over Florida tonight. So I got another, I forget what the spread on this one was. I think it was like two UTSA, which is actually in the American athletic conference, which is a group of five conference is the favorite over Houston by two points. uh, Who is obviously now in the big, big 12. This is their first year in the big 12 Houston won last year. They're two and one all time versus UTSA. Uh, I I don't know why UTSA is the favorite. I know they've been pretty good the last couple of years, uh, but so is Houston. Uh, Houston definitely is. And especially um, moving to a power conference. Should be a good game. Give me Houston, especially at home to win this game. 